Your shoe passes the test. First of all, you want to look at the back of the shoe where the heel um, uh, sits. You want to try to pinch the sides of the shoe together. You should not be able to even slightly depress them inwards. It should be a good stiff heel counter. Second test, you want to see whether or not you can fold the back of the heel in. If you can touch the sole of the shoe holding the heel down, then don't buy the shoe. Um, kids are notorious for slipping shoes on without undoing them and breaking down the back of the shoe and it completely wrecks the shoe. Then you want to take a look at the middle of the shoe. You can see that this shoe has been scalloped out and it's got plastic. It's going to structurally reinforce that scalloped out area. You should never be able to bend a shoe in its midpoint. If I try to bend this shoe, it's really going to resist that midline bending. Where a shoe should easily bend though, test number four, is where you would push off with your toes or the ball of your foot. Okay, that can pull up part of your foot is, is, is where your metatarsal heads, or met heads are. And anybody who's had metatarsalgia knows how painful that is. So you should easily be able to overcome the resistance of the shoe. The last test that you want to do is try to wring the shoe out like a dishcloth. If I can fold that shoe over on itself, like I would be wringing out a wet dishcloth, do not buy the shoe. This is a Brooks, and it is by far one of the better uh, shoes out there for passing all the shoe tests. So make sure that you test each and every shoe that you're going to be using. Uh, the last thing that you want to do is, is stand the shoe up so it's vertically oriented. If you cut that shoe in half or bisect it, you want to see that the line comes out close to the middle of the shoe. If the shoe is too curved and that midpoint line that you're putting through the heel goes out towards uh, your baby toe or, or the one next to it, for example, uh, it's probably not the shoe for you. Those shoes are probably only good for about 5% of the population. And what that does is helps to pronate or, or bring the arch down. Uh, most people don't need that help. Uh, for more information on whether or not your shoes pass the test, visit www.activechoice.ca.